This week on The Rock, we learn about the background of God's country, explore the pros of one-on-one -on -one technology, and the role the Anacortes Boys and Girls Club plays in the community. All this on the episode of The Rock. Welcome back to The Rock AHS. I'm Levi Johnson. And I'm Amelia Rury. We have some great stories for you today. First, Eddie Clark and Georgia Stoltz bring us a segment about the new laptops we all received at the beginning of the year. This September, one-to-one -one technology was installed in the school, giving every student a laptop. It's been almost two months since then, so we've talked to Mr. Backman and Mr. Anderson to see how laptops have been changing the way we learn in the classroom. Uh, I've used technology quite a bit in my um, classes as far as preparation for classes, but I've never had a situation where I've had every student have access to the internet in my classroom. With the addition of laptops, Mr. Backman utilizes No Red Ink, an adaptive learning program that creates sentences with typos that need to be fixed, allowing for students to improve their grammar. Students can access lessons individually, answer questions individually, go at their own pace, um, which is never possible without some of the things that the internet can do. Another way Backman uses technology is in his blog Word Days. Backman is connected every day of the year to historic events and ideas and uses his blog to create interesting questions for students to discuss and answer both online and in the classroom. This year I think has been a really a pleasant surprise for me because I think these laptops work pretty well and it's very nice to have everybody have access to the internet and there's so many possibilities. Another teacher that uses laptops frequently is Mr. Anderson. I was actually playing with um, OneNote since last spring break. On OneNote, students can take notes, do homework, collaborate with other students, and many other features, including using videos as notes with students answering questions which Anderson has adopted into his teaching. And so I've actually been using the Poll Everywhere as a just way to see what kids are doing. It's, uh, official teacher terminology is formative assessment. Poll Everywhere is an online resource where students can directly input their feedback using their computers or cell phones. In the past, Anderson has used this just by using students' phones. With the addition of the laptop, participation has increased. I'm really happy this year I'm getting a lot more responses because everyone has the laptops. It works through the, uh, their web browser. I think it's an easier interface than trying to uh, do everything through the cell phone. Uh, so I like it. I think that's a nice, quick way uh, to get some responses from students, and uh, I think the laptops is the easiest way to do that. Being only two months in and showing this huge progress already, it's clear to see the installment of new technology will continue to be beneficial for years to come. It is really helpful to see how the computers are making an impact in our school. That reminds me of our AHS drama department who impacts our community with their productions. I'm really excited to see the upcoming play, God's Country. Maddie Herring and Abby Davis produced a segment focusing on the message of the play. What is the ultimate end of politics? The ultimate end of politics is war. And whose country is this? This is God's country, which he has given to me. The Anacortes High School Drama Department is putting on its first show of the year, God's Country. This is the school's second time performing this play, and Mr. Burnett, the main director, shed some light on the importance of this in production. Uh, we did this 24 years ago, and um, it was a really big success back then. It tells a story of local history. It's Washington state history. Several people formed a group called The Order in the 80s, and it deals with a, a, a problem that we're dealing with in America right now, this issue of white supremacy and alt-right identity politics. We talked to some of the students involved in the production who gave their input on why this story is an important one to be told. Uh, I feel like it uh, touches on a few issues that uh, are really relevant today in politics and I guess a lot of news that you may be seeing. Well, it touches on, I guess, how people develop these ideas and how they uh, build into radical thoughts. But we're always hearing things in the media. There's a lot of things that have been going on recently. So I think Burnett chose this play because it is pretty relevant to the times and things that have happened. 
Well, by seeing the play, you can see what bad ideas can lead to over time. For example, in the play, I mean, a bad idea led to assassinations and robbery, and hopefully that'll stop students from forming their own groups like this or making bad decisions. Play is relevant because there's a lot of people who kind of think that um, problems of racism don't exist here or they're a thing of the past, but these are all really recent events that really did happen, like 50 miles away from where we live. So kind of after you see this play, you can't tell yourself that it isn't a problem here or that it couldn't happen here. So at the end of the play, Lane, who plays a little boy, uh, comes out onto the stage wearing a polo shirt and like, khakis, and dressed more or less like a normal person, but also dressed pretty much exactly the way that everyone has dressed at Charlottesville. So it's indicative of the fact that uh, racism can be seen today in the way that was seen back then. Cast and directors worked hard to put on such a sophisticated production while still enjoying their experience. God's Country premieres on November 9th and runs through the 18th with select dates. I think the play will really resonate with all of our students and even the outside community. To build a strong community, the Team Center at the Boys and Girls Club focuses on bringing kids together in a safe environment. John Harrison and Mason Blackburn bring us a segment highlighting the positive impact of the Team Center. The Boys and Girls Club is a place where students of many ages can have a safe space to do homework and hang out with their friends. We asked both students and staff members questions on the center and how it helps students. Um, the Teen Center is a huge help for the community because it gives teens a safe and positive place for them to go back to school. They can do their homework, they can do other programs, they can have fun, um, they get food, it's all sorts of things just to create that safe and fun environment. I think it gives teens a place to have as their own, like they get to hang out and they get to chill and play games with their friends, do homework with their friends, work on projects with their friends. I think it's a great place to be. Um, the Teen Center is huge for in and outside of school because, um, first off, it helps them with their schoolwork. Um, we give them the opportunity to do their homework, we give them the technology to do their homework, um, and we have staff here who are available to help them. So it's a big help for school. But, you know, school is more than just books and learning. You've got so many extracurriculars that make such a big part of it, and we offer programs that just match up with those. You know, we do a Drama Matters program that it's all about building acting skills and stuff. Um, we do healthy habits, so teaching them how to have a healthy lifestyle. Um, the biggest one that we've had is a uh, career launch where we did mock interviews. You know, just helping our teens get jobs, um, being productive citizens when they leave school. Uh, some fun things we get to do, we get to do like different trips and such. Like for almost every year we go to the pumpkin patch. Things like that we just recently went to see Jawoli's uh, teen club for a teen night, which was really cool. We I think teen nights are really fun nights too. Um, we play games, like gym games. We play basketball most of the time. Um, we make dinner, and we always have a little dance party at the end of the night. And it's just a fun time. I, teen nights are my favorite Fridays, and yeah. It was great to see all the different activities offered for our students at the Teen Center. Thank you for watching today's episode of The Rock. If you have any suggestions, send us an email at therock at asd103.org. We would love to hear your input. From, From our, our rock, rock to yours, yours have, have a great, great day, AHS. AHS. <laughs>